what's up it is about 2 p.m. on Wednesday I am dressed in my I crave Christmas sweatshirt if anybody wants to get this I will link it in the description it's actually Colleen Ballinger's merch on Fanjoy um, she also really loves Christmas and the second I saw this I had to buy it so this morning I sat down and I just kind of gave some thought to vlogmas I wrote down what I'd done in each video so far and then filled in dates of like what I know is happening on certain days of vlogmas and then was just kind of thinking about the holes <laughs> and how am I going to fill those holes and what am I going to do that won't be boring and things like that. The reason that I got a late start filming today was that I was giving a lot of thought to what can I do today that is going to be interesting to watch? And I just don't think it's sustainable for me to keep up that mentality. Because, I mean, not every day is entertaining, right? So my typical posting schedule is I'll post like a New York City based informational video, then a vlog, info video, vlog. So I'm filming two vlogs a month. I can find plenty of things to be entertaining for two vlogs a month, but when it's every day, not every day of my life is entertaining. And I really want it to be. I'm trying to make sure that I do a lot of fun Christmas things. There are some things coming up even tomorrow. I believe um, Ross and I are going to go see the Christmas lights at Hudson Yards. So that's gonna be fun. We've got a Christmas party coming up. Tuba Christmas, which is at Rockefeller Center. I will definitely also at some point be getting a video up of um, the window displays and just all of Rockefeller Center in general. We're gonna be going to Diker Heights and doing the Christmas lights. So there's tons of fun Christmas stuff coming up. But given that I work, I'm doing the Vlogmas and sometimes I'm just tired and need to rest, especially now. Some days that, you know, I'm just not feeling like going all over the city and doing fun Christmassy things. And I was talking to Marissa about it earlier and how I was feeling stressed about it. And she was like, Hannah, people like watching normal people doing normal things. And I know she's right because I watch vloggers and I watch normal people do normal things all the time. And I do enjoy it. But I, when it's me, it's like, oh God, nobody wants to see this. But um, I guess this is just a very long-winded way of me explaining my feelings. And I'm not trying to complain. I feel like in a lot of my vlogs recently, I've said things like, ah, I hope this isn't boring or, oh, this is boring, I'm sorry. I don't, I know that's a little annoying. I don't need to be so self-deprecating, but I think I just need to chill. I think I'm overthinking Vlogmas a whole lot. <laughs> so today is gonna be one of those days that is a little bit more chill. So I think what I'm gonna do right now, I start teaching in like an hour and a half, so I don't have too much time, but I think I'm gonna go out for a little walk I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks. I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna teach. And um, Cannoli, Pedro and Natalia's dog, is coming to hang out with me this evening. So you guys are gonna get to see a very cute Italian Greyhound. And I'm gonna play you some Christmas carols today, like I said that I would do uh, yesterday. But let's go for a little walk. I might walk over and look at that big Christmas tree again, the one that's at the Metro Tech Center. Maybe see what's going on at those little shops. Okay, let's go. Oh, did you look at that? My new cute blonde hair looks really cute with a hat on. Okay, I ordered the caramel brulee latte, which I've put off trying because it sounds really, really sweet, but Marissa loves it. So I'm gonna give it a try. I did get one less pump of the syrup than is in the usual recipe. So maybe that will make it less sweet. Okay, let's go. The goods have been acquired. Let's see. Mm. I like that. It's not too sweet. I wonder if that has anything to do with the one pup less syrup that I did or if it's just really not a super sweet drink. Yeah, that's really nice.
so here's all the info on what's happening here where this big tree is at the Metro Tech Center area. I had no idea that all of this was happening. I don't know where they're gonna put an ice skating rink. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to remember to try to get back out here for this um, Martian band performance. That looks fun as well. Oh, they're doing live ice carvings today. So this ice carving thing that's happening today, I'm kind of disappointed that I can't come back out here and see it because I'm gonna be teaching then. But Ross might be headed home from work when that's going on. So maybe I'll call him and see if he can like snag a clip of it if they're still doing it when he comes by. Man, I wish I could come out here for that. so glad I went for that little walk. I was just out for just under an hour, not very long at all. And it just turned my mood around. Not that I was in like an awful mood or anything. I was just feeling a little, huh. <laughs> but going out just for a little bit and seeing all the pretty Christmas decorations and that the shops are up and going. Also, that Metro Tech Center tree is the best tree that I have seen so far besides like Rockefeller. And there has not been a big to-do made about it at all. Like it's better than any of the trees that had tree lightings that I went to. It's just stunning and nobody's talking about it. So go see that tree. <laughs> I'm just prepping to teach now. Got some light lesson planning to do. Feeling good. I'm excited to see my students today. Oh, also while I was out, I feel like one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear about New York City, at least in my experience, is that people don't want to talk to strangers on the street, right? And on some level that's true, and I would say that's especially true in the touristy parts of Manhattan. A lot of the time when people approach you, you are wary because they could be trying to scam you or something like that, but it is not the same thing just like in, in other neighborhoods. Especially not in the super residential ones, like downtown Brooklyn's still a business district, but in Brooklyn Heights, every time I walked outside, it was like, hey, how are ya? But even today, walking around downtown Brooklyn, so many different people smiled at me. And part of it too is because I'm smiling at them. You know, you can kind of, you give what, ugh, what is it? <laughs> you get what you give, you know? If you're being polite and friendly and smiling, other people probably are too. This random girl told me that I was pretty. Like, how nice. A little baby smiled at me. Like, just a lot of nice things happened. This drink is really good. I'm just glad I went out on that little walk. Just, just for me, and it felt good. You look fast, huh, Cannoli? Oh my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> That's a weird cat, huh?
<laughs> Guys, thank you so much for sticking with me through Vlogmas. This is day eight. Can you? <laughs> okay, get down. Okay, thank you for sticking with me through Vlogmas up to this point. I cannot believe that it is already day eight right now. Oh my gosh, if you're still watching, like, you're one of the real ones. <laughs> okay, so you guys have been asking me to play Christmas carols. I'm gonna play some Christmas carols, just one today, and then I think I'll keep sneaking them in throughout Vlogmas. But today I found a piano accompaniment for Jingle Bells on a YouTube channel called Tootin' Tim. <laughs> I'll link that in the description. That's what I'm gonna be playing along with. Um, and I'll just leave you with that. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, turn on the bell notifications to be notified when these go up every day. And I will see you tomorrow. So I can't even get I can't even get through this. Here's some jingle bells and I'll see you tomorrow for some Christmas lights at Hudson Yards. Bye. Mm -hmm.